What's up? I'm Brie K with Arabit, and in this video, I'm gonna give you the complete guide to creating playlists for your personal stores. Playlists are a great way of showcasing your work in your Airbit store by only displaying specific beats. This helps you keep organized and ensures that your customers can easily find what they're looking for. Now I'm going to give you some ways that you can actually use playlists. You can create a separate store to sell exclusive beats from, which is great for customers who only want to buy exclusives. You can create a separate store for your discounted beats, which is great for artists who are shopping on a budget and Low key is also great for squeezing some value out of your old beats. You can also create a store containing exclusive or unreleased beats that are not available anywhere else. This can be used for marketing. For example, you can make this store only accessible to people who sign up for your emailing list. And then if you have a newsletter go out, you can include the link to the store in your welcome email so that people who sign up for your mailing list have instant access to these beats. Another thing you can do is separate your beats into genres or type beats, which is super useful if you have a variety of beats in your store. And it's super useful to customers because when they come to your store, it'll make it easier for them to browse your beats and thus make it easier for them to buy your beats. From your playlist, customers can browse and buy beats as they normally would. The only difference is that they will only see the beats that you choose to be displayed. You can add multiple playlists to one store or you can create multiple stores for each playlist, whatever suits you. Now I'm going to take you through how to create a playlist, but before we do that, you wanna make sure that there are actually beats uploaded to your account. Otherwise, your playlists are gonna be empty. Now creating your playlist goes a little something like this. First, you want to head over to Dashboard, then Music and Media, then Playlists and Albums, and click the green Add button. In the pop-up window, choose Beat Playlist as your collection type, add a name, and save the changes. To add beats, click Manage Music, select your beats, and click Save. You can remove beats anytime by clicking Manage Music again, then deselecting your chosen beats and saving the changes. To display your playlist in your HTML5 store, you want to head to Music Stores, then HTML5 Stores, and then you want to select your configuration from the drop down menu and click Tabs. Select collection slash playlist from the type drop-down menu and your chosen playlist from the contents drop-down menu. You can add more tabs and therefore more playlists by clicking the green add button. To display playlists in your infinity store, first you want to head to your infinity store, which is your username .infinity .com, and click the settings cog in the top right to open your settings. Next, click Pages and either click Settings next to your existing Beats page or click Add a Page to create a new Beats page. Playlists can only be displayed on Beats pages. In the Page Settings under Page Display Options, click the toggle to switch from All Beats to Playlist and select your playlist from the drop-down menu. Click OK, then save your changes in your Infinity Store settings. Now that you know how to create playlists, you can repeat this process as many times as you need to achieve your perfect setup. And there is no limit to the amount of stores that you can have. For the techniques that require a separate store, you will need to create a new store configuration for each playlist, set the playlist, then just embed or post the link in the relevant places. Remember, you can have as many stores as you like. So if you have your own website, you could put your discounted beats on one page, your exclusives on another page, your regular on another page, and so on and so forth. Or if you like, you can have them all in one store and separate them by tabs or pages. All right, I think that that is everything. For more content like this that is helpful for artists and producers like yourself, you can head to our creators hub on airbit.com. There's interviews, tutorials, all sorts of stuff that you will find super helpful. If you are not part of our Discord group, you have to join it. There are artists, producers, creators talking in there every day, dropping gems, sharing tips, giving feedback, all sorts of stuff. The link for that will be in the description. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please go ahead and click subscribe. And please also go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every time we post content like this. And if you made it this far into the video, I think it's safe to say that you kind of liked it. So please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And that is all for this video. Again, I am Brie K with Airbit. 
Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.